Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Senator Kennedy once again goes scorched earth on these terrible, terrible judicial nominees. Do you mean them as a person? I'm not asking you in your role as an advocate. Do you believe that if you're against white supremacy, you have to be against voter ID laws? Senator, in my role as an advocate, I have- Ma'am, I'm not asking you about, this wasn't the case. I'm asking you what you believe. And I don't appreciate you dodging my question. Now, this is, this is a serious position you've been nominated for. Do you believe that someone who is against white supremacy also has to be against voter ID laws? Senator, no. The Supreme Court has held that photo what ID laws. What do you believe? The, I believe that the Supreme Court has held what that What do you believe personally? I believe that photo ID laws have been held to be constitutional. Do you think voter ID laws are appropriate or inappropriate? I believe those are, are questions that uh, election officials... Uh, Do you the, believe that voter ID laws are appropriate or inappropriate? I believe that photo ID laws have been held to be constitutional. I believe there are cases in which what they are... What do you believe? I believe there are cases in which they are what appropriate. What do you believe? I also believe there are cases what do you in believe? which... They can. What do you believe? Do you Senator, believe? let her answer, please. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. We both know what's going on, this, Mr. Chairman. Let her complete the why, why, Well, let me do my own questioning, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your help, Professor. What a savage. I love Senator Kennedy just for these moments. A call, sarcastically calling out his own chairman and then goes right back to grilling the witness. Um, do you believe that voter IDs laws are appropriate or not? I believe there are circumstances where photo ID laws can be constitutionally implemented. And I believe that the Supreme Court has also held that there are circumstances when they would not be constitutionally permitted. Okay. All right, Ms. Uh... Ms. Choudhury, are you saying your name right? It is Choudhury. Chaudhry, thank you for correcting me. Thank you. Uh, in 2015, you were on a panel at Princeton University. Um, you said that uh, the killing of unarmed black men by police happens every day in America. Did you say that? Senator, I don't recall a statement, but it is something I may have said in that context. You, you think it happens every single day? Senator, I believe in that, in that statement I was making a comment in my role as an advocate, and I was engaging in rhetorical advocacy, which but do you, advocates do you believe do. that police officers kill unarmed black men every day in America? Hey, uh, Archangel Michael, yeah, it, it's me again. Just wanted to let you know, that a uh, woke leftist answered a question honestly in front of the Senate. That never happens. Lefties don't answer honestly to the Senate, and she just did. You know what? Con congratulations to her. She's nuts, but at least I respect her. Senator, I believe the killing of unarmed citizens by law enforcement is tragic, and I believe in that I instance. I think it's I tragic was... too, but do you believe, uh, this is a really simple question, Counselor, do you believe that cops kill unarmed black men in America every single day. You said it at Princeton. Senator, I said it in my role as an advocate. Oh, okay, you didn't mean it. Senator, I said it in my role as an advocate to make a rhetorical point. So, so when you say something that's, that's incorrect, it's okay to excuse it by saying, oh, I was being an advocate? Hey, y'all, as we know, you don't put all your eggs into one basket, right? So that's why I'm partnering over with my friends at Colonial Metals Group who will help diversify your portfolio. And what they'll do is they'll set up for you a self-directed IRA account. You'll have direct access to your assets. You'll be able to see what all's going on. And it doesn't matter what the stock market does or what often happens, what the government does, your assets will be protected. So let the team of experts over at Colonial Metals Group help secure your account and your family's future today. There's a link in the description below. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like that, there's a 1-800 number you can call. And most importantly though, is the kicker. They'll throw in a safe and possibly up to $10,000 in US silver to help you get things started. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. Wow, this is, uh, 
This is an incredible exchange. and th This is uh, like a dogfight happening in World War I with the planes circling in the skies, and Senator Kennedy just became an ace. He just took on not one, but two incredibly woke, ridiculous uh, DEI hires, just for lack of a better term, for federal positions in the judiciary. And then he, he has to go after his own chairman, a Democrat, and he does it in the most sarcastic way possible. This is brilliance on display, and it's why you want trial lawyers uh, going into Congress and the Senate, because they will look, look over these people and find their flaws, essentially. When you're looking for a judicial candidate, you want someone who is essentially going to follow the law and not push the law. You want someone to argue from the Constitution and not from what they want to see happen in this world. And unfortunately, the Biden administration has been flooding uh, the judiciary with these people that essentially want to change the country from the judicial standpoint instead of from the legislative standpoint. This is uh, ultimately the biggest problem with the not, the, not the Supreme Court, but the judicial system entirely, that laws are more likely to be changed there than in Congress itself. And it, that's a dangerous principle and premise to have because it can totally undo the way our country works. And that's why the left is trying to re recapture the Supreme Court and wants to capture more of the lower level judicial positions. Now, if you tell anyone about this, they won't believe you, might get a little bit triggered. And so, like I said, Senator Kennedy is a dogfighter in the skies over, of, over France in World War I and just wreaking havoc on these terrible, terrible nominees from the Biden administration and ultimately even has to go after his own chairman and does so in brilliant fashion. I love watching this man work. It is just a testament to the art that is a good lawyering. Because yes, they do exist. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed the segment here on Politibrol. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.